Hello, in this video I'm going to give an update on my 2021 reading project with the Hugo Awards. I read another entry in this project, so I'm going to talk about it. Today's entry is from the Hugo Award for the novellas, which are slightly shorter than the novels by the name. And for this entry, I read the winner, or uh, if I'm reading this Wikipedia page correctly, it's the co-winner. There was another winner, I guess. Uh, of the 1968 Hugo Award for the novella, and that was uh, Riders of the Purple Wage by Philip Jose Farmer. Um, so this book actually came in a collection, this uh, Dangerous Visions collection, but there was one story in it that I read from it. Now if I have time I might read some of these other stories in collections, in the collection, but for the purpose of this video, I only read the one story that I needed to read out of here. And that's something I'm finding with a lot of these entries on this list. I've been looking in my local library system to try to find these books and place a hold on them. And a lot of these novellas are published in something like a collection, so I'll have to get the collection to read the singular story. But for purposes of my overall reading goal, I'm kind of, I don't want to say fudging it, I don't consider it cheating. Uh, so I'm marking this as complete, as a reading entry for my overall goal of 250 books. So I read Riders of the Purple Wage and then I marked it off as complete. I did make a note that even though I read it in Dangerous Visions, I didn't read all of Dangerous Visions. I might, but I'm only going to count this as one book and I'm going to count it as complete if I read the entry that I wanted to. So that's just how I'm going to count these. Just. Also because if I start reading every single entry in every single collection, I'm going to get bogged down. However, I do not doubt that a lot of these are really good entries um, and probably deserve to be read on their own. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Writers of the Purple Wage mm, and my thoughts on it. So I gave it two stars and that was being generous mm, for me. I did not enjoy this one and part of that might be because I'm not smart enough to enjoy this kind of a literature. I don't know. It takes place in the future. There's a main character who lives in LA, but LA is obviously this massive expanded city. It's this futuristic world and everyone can live on this sort of universal basic income theory where they all I think that's what the purple wage. They're pulling this basic living stipend that they can all live off of and it's the story of an artist and the grandfather or great-grandfather that he is trying to hide from the modern version of the IRS, uh, the Internal Revenue Service, but now it's IRB, Internal Revenue Bureau. I believe the IRB is just an expanded version of the IRS. So basically it was believed that the grandfather died and his several billions of dollars uh, beyond the living site, but just billions of dollars that he somehow obtained from the government and didn't pay a tax on are hidden and no one knows what happened to it and there's this one lone man from the IRB who's out to find out what happened to the grandfather and find out where the money went and the grandfather is living in this hidden room in this apartment that the young main character also lives in. And the young main character is also an artist and I believe he's trying to get his art career started by winning favors from art critics and art critics want him to do shady things to get ahead. Um, they want him to like sleep with him to get ahead and he doesn't, he wants to be judged based on the the merit of his work and not whether or not he's sleeping with the art critic to give him good reviews. In the plus category, the whole IRB story, trying to find the money, was interesting, but it was barely touched on at all. Um, I felt like that was kind of shoved towards the end, but I was kind of interested in that. Uh, there was a lot of wordplay, I want to say, in the novella. Again, reading this made me feel dumb. Reading this made me feel like I didn't know what I was talking about, because there were many times I had to reread paragraphs, and I still was like, I don't know what's going on here. We're just going to have to move on. It took me two days to read this story, which spans from page, what is this, 37 to like 100 and 120 something. Yeah. It took
took me two days to read that, and that's very slow for me. Um, there was a lot of interesting wordplay, but I did not know how much of it was like trying to show that time had passed, so spellings had been corrupted, and how much was actual wordplay. And I feel like maybe if I was more intelligent, I would understand what was going on, but I did not, so I was just very confused. Also, mm, mm, it's an interesting take on how society would develop, but I was not a fan. Did not sign up to read some of that stuff. I felt like the story was going nowhere for a long time. In a way, it was showing interesting facets of this world. Um, and this is something that I'm going to have to work on, maybe. Because I'm reading novellas, they inherently can't go in as much as much depth as maybe I'm used to. Like, when I read a sci-fi series or if I read some massive tome of fantasy, I'm getting a lot of detail, a lot of world building, a lot of scenes with the characters, and in a novella a lot of that is compressed, so you're going to have to do a lot of more character building or world building in a shorter amount of time, or you're just going to have to leave it off to get to the story. So that might be something that I'll have to adjust as I read these novellas, just not expecting as much world building, because I felt like the world was interesting and some of these scenes shed light on the world, but not in a way that was satisfying, like I wanted more out of it. and. Uh, I felt like the main story that I was interested in was pushed off to the side. And then there were these confusing scenes where I would read, but I wasn't sure what was going on. I mean, at one point he pushes some a man into the water, and then also these women into the water, and they might drown. Maybe. I'm not sure. There were just a lot of confusing scenes that I felt like didn't add to the story, or at least I didn't understand how they added to the story. Um, the ending was entertaining enough, and I felt like it wrapped things up enough, nothing was left too hanging. We don't really know what happens to his art career, I should say that, but, uh, maybe that's implied. Maybe they did say it, and I didn't get it. That's the moral of the story. I'm not intelligent enough to read this no novella, I think. This might be interesting to return to after I've read quite a bit more, and I know quite a bit more. But in the meanwhile, I was very confused, and did not enjoy it. It was a tough read, and I gave it two stars being generous. So that's my take. If anyone else has read this, or I shouldn't show the cover because um, have, has read Riders of the Purple Wage by Philip Jose Farmer, please let me know. Please let me know what the story was about. Please let me know if I hit the mark. Please let me know if I was completely off and it was about, I don't know. Roman philosophy and I completely missed the point. That is very possible. Um, I felt very dumb while reading this. What I will say though is I do think Farmer is m masterful with his words. I read like I can tell that I'm reading an author who knows what he's doing and not just someone who's making it up as he goes along. So that's what makes me suspicious that the two star is not maybe necessarily reflective of the story itself and more about me and me not understanding what's going on. So the rating on this might change, but that's my rating on this one right now. Um, please let me know your thoughts on it or if anyone else has read it. This is one I'd be very, very interested in discussing with another person and almost would be interesting to sit down with a group of people and maybe read through it slowly and discuss it as I go. I feel like I might get a lot more out of it that way. So this one, two stars for now, but is definitely going to be worth a reread in the future to see if I can figure out what is going on. Anyways, those are my thoughts on Riders of the Purple Wage by Philip uh, Jose Farmer, uh, and have a good night, everybody.